Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Rob and Shelly here. Hi. Hi. I've got a really neat one for you today. We're going to be doing a review on this Astoria. It's brand new, just came on our sales lot 2025. This is the 3173 RLP. And guys, this one's kind of special because it's got what? Full body paint. <laughs> And hear what I say From the bedroom to the kitchen All the nooks and crannies Tune in every Wednesday It'll be amazing Walk through Wednesday Come take a tour Check every feature And do what though Walk through Wednesday Hit the road with me Tune in every Wednesday Take a look I mean, this thing is just gorgeous Shelly says it's not the one for us because if you see a lot of dirt on it here, black gets dirty quick. She says, I'm so picky, I'd be out there cleaning every five minutes, so this isn't the one for us. But, and the floor plan isn't our cup of tea. Um, it is probably for many. This is a really, really popular floor plan, actually. This has got a rear living room, which is what the RL is. The P at the end of the, the number is going to be that this is their platinum edition. So just check this thing out. It's just simply gorgeous. And we're gonna start, of course, like always, back here on the campsite. So on the back, we've got a uh, backup camera up there, your ladder to get up. Look at all the windows up here. And something special, and I'll show you when I get in the inside that I like about the windows. Got your 50 amp power here hook up. This is for fresh water. This is what you would hook up to when you're getting ready to go out camping and you just want to fill up the fresh water tank because you're going to go boondocking. So that's not where you would hook up all the time. Then let's come on up the side here. Huge slide out on this side. Um, this is going to be your hot water heater. This is, or excuse me, that's your furnace. I mix them up every single time. This is your hot water heater and let's see how big this is i don't think this is on demand oh it is i'm sorry this is a tankless water heater so on demand water heater how many btu uh 42,000. huge wow that's uh that's just that'll heat up relatively fast uh, and it'll it'll run for quite some time so right next to it here you've got your black tank flush then we come in to the first bay door here only bay door on this side actually that's where you hook up to winterize your city connection your your drain tanks hook up spray port here there is a, a light there i got it turned off uh, but you can turn that on or you could turn that on for uh, motion sensing big pass through storage yes I, I i'm not a fan of this so the door is up and it's on struts that's great that it holds it up out of the way, but I'm still ducking down to get down here. Guys, I've got a bad back. So for me, I think that's kind of a pain because you got to duck down under it. I've seen other, other units out there and other manufacturers, and what they're doing is they're putting a split door. So on this side, where you got the slide here, it tips up like this, but the other would open the other direction. Sometimes they open both. They'll, they'll slide open, they'll just flip open the other direction, they're split in the middle. That setup I like better. You got propane tank here. You do have the Kurt Roto Flex pin box. That's great there. <clears throat> and they have what I like up front here in the front storage. Yes, it takes up space. Tire. But I like having the spare tire up here. Yep. Because I can get to it easy, I don't have to. Guys, I'm 61 years old. I don't want to have to crawl underneath one of these things to get a spare out. I just don't. So am I willing to sacrifice storage? Yes. Might not be for you. You might would rather have the storage. I like I like having the, the tire there myself. Let's put the camera inside here. See if I can kneel my ass down. On the sides here, you're going to see that they are using electric leveling system, not hydraulic. They do that for two reasons. One, it saves weight big time. And two, if you have one of these jacks go bad, you're not stuck at a place 
cutting a hydraulic line and losing hydraulics everywhere. Because that's exactly what you would do. So you can, you can actually put up in the very top, up there, there's a place where you can put a ratchet in there and a socket, and you can just crank on it and drop that jack if you need to, or raise it if you need to, whichever. You've got your on off switch here, solar switch on off there. There is a nice light up inside here. I don't know if I can turn, if you're gonna see this during the day. I turned on the, yes, you can, check this out. I don't know if this is showing up in the camera very well, but you got oh, LED lights nice. above the bottom and all of the cap. Oh, I really like that, that's cool. It's kind of pretty. Yes, so it it's is. It's really neat looking front cap lights. Really nice LED. You got another propane tank here. I didn't look at the other one, but I'm gonna look at this for a reason. So that's a 30 pound can, not a lot of room there, so you're not gonna be able to put a 40 in there. That's what I was looking for. There is solar on top of this, but if you have external solar panels, portable that you want to set up, you can just hook it right up here and plug it in. Oh, cool. So you can set some solar panels out here in the sun somewhere. Yeah. Not sunny today, <laughs> but you could put solar panels out there and do that. Um, I didn't point out on the other side over there, um, but I'm going to run back over there because uh, this is where you're inside this door that I don't like going up, going up all the way. Right inside here, you've got your auto level system. So that is the, uh, the Lippert electronic leveling system. Great system. I've seen some companies coming out with a different system now that I really like. It's kind of an all a touch panel. You've got a code that you put a four digit code in to be able to use it so somebody can't come around and screw with your, your auto level when you're not around. That is a go power charge controller. So you flip the switch up here to turn on the rooftop solar and flip it off there. Yeah. And that tells you how many volts and everything. Yeah. Right now the battery's dead. Um, we got to get a charge in it for the solar to actually work because the solar can be putting power down to the batteries, but if they're completely dead like they are on it currently, it, it won't, the battery just won't take a charge. The yeah. solar won't work. So we got to get, get a charger on it, get the batteries charged up and then the solar will take over from there. But slide over here, notice this cable slide. These are, a lot of people don't like the cable slides, but these are an upgraded different, uh, uh, can't think of the word I'm using for, newer model, uh, like a 2.0 or whatever. But it's, an, it's a newer style of cable slide. They're way more efficient, they work much easier. I'll show you that when we get in. So let's, uh, before I go in, what's that? Nice. Or both of them. The awnings? Yeah. Oh, slide toppers you mean? Yeah. Yeah, so you got the slide toppers above the slides come factory on this, on the Platinum Edition. We do have two external awnings. There are LED light strips underneath those. I don't have them turned on, but I can certainly get them on. I forgot to come back here. You got a 110 outlet out here. You got a place where you can bring a TV and slide it into there for outside. You got two marine grade outdoor speakers here that'll power and drive your neighbors nuts. You got cable outlet if you're hooked up to the park's cable, you could have hooked your TV to that. Um, there is a place right here that you can hook, there's a griddle, outdoor uh -huh. griddle, up in that pass-through. I don't know if you've seen that when we're standing up here, but there is, I believe it's a suburban griddle. So you got the griddle in that box that somebody's already opened. And uh, there's the griddle plate. Oh, and I this see. box is gonna have the stand oh. that you put on there. And it actually pulls the griddle away from the camper a little ways. I see. And you put your, you put your griddle up on that stand. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, guys, let's go take a look on the roof and then we'll be inside. Okay, climbing up the ladder, come up to the back of the unit. You got uh, one Furion air conditioner there. Nice slide toppers on the, on the slides there. Pretty clean roof on these, uh, not a lot of garbage put up on them. Do have a couple of vents there. Max air vent fan, uh, solar panel. I believe this is a 200 watt solar panel. Another vent, uh, max air vent fan up in the bathroom. And then coming up uh, above the bedroom area, you've got your front air conditioner on the other Furion. Well, let's take a look uh, on the inside. 
All right, let's take a look at the inside. So walking up in, you're gonna enter in to the kitchen area and the rear living area first. Shelly, what's your first impression on this one? She's still making it up the steps. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you think of this? This is your typical rear living room. I've got all the lights on so it makes it look a little bit better. Oh, it's not bad. It's nice. So you got the theater seating here. Uh, that turns out into a couch or pull out into a bed. I like the camel color of the furniture. I don't. Why? I just don't like the brown color like that. I just don't. <laughs> it's just not my preference. Yeah, yeah. On the back here, you've got these will open up so you got oh, storage down nice. inside. This one does the same. Now when I was outside I said I mentioned this window. I love what they've done with this these windows and I need to pull these shades up to look over there but this will open all the way to one side. I see that. Actually because it's an emergency window it has yeah. to do that. I see but that. these also most of the time a lot of a lot of different campers, a lot of different manufacturers, they'll put a window that, that pushes out. Yeah. And you only get it to go out about yay far, about six inches or yeah. so. You don't get a lot of airflow in there. Yeah. This one you can actually, I, I can't because I've only got, here, hold the hammer. <laughs> so you can actually lift this up. Oh. And you can get full opening. Oh, that's nice. And you can get a ton of airflow coming through, especially if you open it up on the other side over here. You'll get a nice cross breeze ventilation. Oh, yeah. You've got nice uh, blackout shades. And another thing I like about these blackout shades is you got the little pull cords to grab a hold and pull them down out of there yeah. instead of fishing your hand up in. Yeah. Same with this window. Same. Yeah. And the, Great ventilation. Yeah. And this one actually probably has got... A, so I, I have mixed feelings because I love that it's got a really huge window there, yeah. but only this one bottom section down here opens. Oh, really? So I kind of wish, I've seen some manufacturers that they have that split in the center here. Yeah. And the whole thing would slide open. Yeah. I like that better because you're going to get a lot more airflow coming in and through. But man, if you stand That's back nice. here and you look throughout that whole thing, yeah. imagine it's windows. Imagine being parked up on like, like, like the Black Hills or um, the Badlands. There's yeah. a place that you can, there's a place I've been seeing in a lot of videos that people are going up to the Badlands and they're setting up on a high, high area and they're looking down in at the Badlands. Yeah. Imagine getting out in the morning and coming out. Yeah. We're not coffee drinkers, but imagine you guys out there that are, come out here get your morning cup of coffee and look at your view. <laughs> what a view you would have, you know? Above the, above the sofa here, you've got a lot of storage. So those are kind of nice. Oh yeah. That goes all the and way. And they stay up too. Yeah, That's they've got the, nice. they got the little struts here to help keep them staying up. You've got, uh, didn't tell me what size, but that looks like about a 50 inch TV. You've got the audio down below in your fireplace. There is some storage there. I love these handles. So you got storage, what's that? I love these handles. Yeah, those are pretty nice. They're cool. Next to that, uh, over on this side, I'm kind of skipping all over. Guys, this is, you know, I'm not, I'm, we're not seasoned professionals at this, but we're getting better. So next to, next to the theater seating, you've got the dining table. Um, the chairs aren't there. I believe they're strapped up on the bed. There's actually four, so I think there's two on the bed and two under the bed. Uh, this kitchen. I love it. What do you think of this kitchen? I love it. I still love that they do the lights in the... Yeah, so the Astoria I love it. is doing... These are solid surface, counter, solid surface countertops. And what Shelly's talking about is inlaid here, there's LED lighting. Let's see if I can... Uh, there. There's with it off. So it's, th it's through the island and through this as well. I love it. I kind of half expected to see it. It is, but I just don't probably have it turned on. Not sure. Oh, that turned the light on in the pantry. Oh, yeah, that turned the light on in the pantry. I guess maybe there is no lighting in it over probably here. Probably because it's too close to the stove. 
that's probably a good point. Speaking of the pantry, nice. it's not motion, but the switch is right here, so you yeah. do have LED lights. Nice. Oh, a, a, my favorite thing about it, adjustable, adjustable shelves. shelves. Yep. And I would love it if it had one or two more. Yeah. But you know what? You could probably contact the manufacturer and say, hey, I'd like a couple more shelves for the pantry. And I bet you could get them. Couldn't you just I know you can. Them? I mean, you could you just make your own. You could make your own, but to get it to match this color of wood yeah. just right would be very difficult to do. And I know this because I've done a lot of woodworking before. <laughs> so that would be a difficult to match that up. I'd rather just contact the manufacturer and get some. You've got a little storage area up into here that goes in a little ways. Um, that would be great for. Uh, I do. I am a little upset that it doesn't stay up. I wonder if it's just. I know those types of hinges would hold it up, but it. I think the handle here is hitting the ceiling. Yeah. And it's not getting to the point where it would stay. Yeah. But anyway, it wouldn't take much just to hold it. You could put like cookie sheets in there. Pizza, pizza pan. pan. Cutting board. Yeah. Type stuff into that. Yeah. Got a cabinet there below. That goes in quite a ways. Good You've got a drawer down below, pot and pan drawer. Well, that's pretty deep too. Yeah, it is. We've got a Furion, three burner stove, and oven, and that lights up. Oh, that's cool. So good size oven. And here's what I kind of like the best out of the kitchen is the refrigerator. Um, it's a 12 volt refrigerator. You got side by side, so you got refrigerator nice. on one side, you got freezer on the other. Nice. This is the Furion. Why do I like the Furion? Because they've been around the longest and they're the most reliable 12 volt refrigerator right now on the market. Nice. And of course, it's not a kitchen. I got this from Mr. JD on uh, Big Truck, Big RV. It's not a kitchen unless it's got drawers. Yeah. And so we've got three drawers here. You've got cabinet space underneath the sink. That's pretty you, big. It is. You could put some shelving in there if you wanted to to store stuff. Because it is pretty tall. In there too. Yeah, you could fit a you know, you could even fit a wastebasket on this side where yep. your plumbing is and put a storage over there. Oh, well, I guess you don't need to do that, do we? <laughs> nope, no need to put a wastebasket underneath there. already thought about it. Yep. So another drawer there. I would have liked to have seen a pull-out cutting board there, but it is what it is. And <clears throat> guys, I'm absolutely in love with this sink. So if you come around over there, look at this. So I've seen these on videos. This is the first unit I've walked in to see it. You've got a little cutting board that you could that you could store there. If we pull that out of the way, you've got a base in here that you can wash dishes with. You've got a base in here. This is full of holes, and right along in here, if you can see that, if you turn on right with this knob, oh, yeah. water will come out like a waterfall. Oh. It'll run down here, and this is where you can clean vegetables and such. Oh. I've got a little soap dispenser there. You got the nice pull-out handle. Yeah. I see this on a lot, so it's not real special, but look. You've got different modes on it. Yeah, like so, my so one different. At home. Yep, like just like the one we got at home. This is kind of a strainer that would go down in here. Oh, you've I got see. you got a, a thing to plug it, but you've also got this nice strainer, and that would catch a lot of your big stuff and oh, put that on the yes. top. Oh, yes. I see. So it doesn't get down right. in this little one and get clogged right. up. I see. So that one's easier to take out and clean and throw that, that garbage that it catches down in the garbage can because, oh. you know, you don't have a garbage disposal in, no. a, in an RV. And this one you have to have out to be able to pull this one over and out. And then you got a huge sink, a huge stainless steel sink. And the thing is actually that dark stainless. Yeah. So you're not going to see a lot of, okay, if I put the right end in first, it'll go in like it's supposed to. So you're not going to see a lot of fingerprints on it. I see. There's your on off for the light for the switch. So fancy little knob to turn it on and off and get yeah. your hot and cold water. You know what that is? Cup washer. Really? Turn your glass upside down. It'll spray water up into your glass and clean it off the inside of your glass for you. <laughs> so if you got something you've been drinking out of it, you just need to rinse it out. Huh. Reuse it real yeah. quick. 
rinse it out, and you're wow. good to go. You know, at home now, we stick underneath here, put a little soap in, we got a big old brush that we go in there yeah. and brush it clean. Yeah. You, know, you don't, don't need to. Put That's a little, put a little cool. soap in it, swish it around, put it on there, rinse it out. That's pretty cool. Yep. Pretty, pretty neat design. I really like this. My towel. Oh yeah, there's a towel rack on yes. here. I didn't, uh, I didn't yes. see that. That's kind of that's kind of neat. Yes, it is. Um, I do like here that Plus they've got an outlet here, yep. outlet over there. Yep. I, you know, I have a mixed feeling about the island. The island's big enough that you've got some prep space on both sides. Yep. What I would have loved to seen is because you've got a real huge living room here. I would have loved to have seen another shelf here that would flip up. To, to, to extend it even more but oh, you've got a lot of shelf space really big. because you've got all the shelf space on the yeah. island and then we come over yeah. here and look at all the show all the counter space i mean well yeah you got all this counter over here yeah so that can be set up with multiple things as well you've got more drawers here look how big oh, that is wow that's really deep yeah a huge deep drawer second one yeah you got a couple cabinets down the bottom that have extra shelf. Well, that one's got a shelf. That one's below good. it. I'm guessing that's over here is the... that's your fuse box. Yep. So that's why that's blocked off. That's good a... size drawer there. Same thing over here. There's probably electronics, but you got one section there. Got another drawer over here. Guys, soft close. All the cabinets are soft closed. So you got huge cabinet space oh, up top wow. there. I need a ladder to get up there. <laughs> you would. Been there. You got some cabinet space up here. You know, like I said before, we're not coffee drinkers, but this would be a good coffee bar over here. You've got power outlet over in the corner that that would pull up. My Instapot would work really well. Even my yeah. mother. Yeah, we could put the our, Instapot. Our convention. And yeah, we got one of those uh, Ninja Foodie yeah. that we use yeah. a lot. I mean, we've got electric range at home and we, don't, we, we use the Foodie more than anything. So that would go good there. I love this. Yeah, that's actually kind of a, it looks tiled, but it's not, it's a wall board. I really like it. We better continue on because uh, I got a little power thing that's powering this thing up and it looks like it's uh, failing because the lights are getting dim. <laughs> so coming up here, You've got, uh, coming up in the bathroom, there's a dual basin sink. Nice big shower. Standard kind of shower in there. It's pretty tall. Here, go ahead and point that in there for me. Now I'll kind of step in. So you've got a huge amount of room in here. I'm not even close to hitting the top yet. No. So plenty of room there. And of course, my ever so favorite test over here, you've got the, uh, this is the Thefford porcelain foot flush. And let's just give it the, the old Rob test. I, I, knew, I knew this was gonna be okay because I got shower on one side, I got cabin on the other. I got a ton of room in here, guys. There's storage below the sink, stainless the steel sinks. So yeah, this one, Fluffy certified. This sink is, <laughs> I make fun of this. I had some, some customers looking at this yesterday or day before. I said, you know, with this sink over here, you literally can shit and shave at the same time. <laughs> you can sit down and if the mirror is just a little bit lower, but you've got some nice drawers in between, power outlets there. Over here is your controls for your hot water heater. We've got another sink there, more storage below. Open area here for oh, towels. Yes. I like that. So you can fit a lot of towels yep, into there. Yeah, it's got a pocket door too. I like that too. Yes, I love the pocket door because it doesn't interfere with anything else. Yes. And when you don't want to use it, it's then tucked it's away. tucked up out of the way. Yeah. Yep. Uh, bedroom here, you've got some nice deep drawers in the dresser area. Kind of had it pulled sideways just a little bit. I'm really surprised that on the bottom here, that's enclosed. I'm surprised they didn't open that for like shoe storage. 
Another big window here, and check it out. It's the window I like. Yeah. So this whole thing lifts up. Oh, yes. Big because it's an emergency. I mean, the little red knob, you pull that up yeah. and you tip the whole window out. Yep. Yeah. So storage up above there. You got storage down below and or that's where you would put stackable wash and dryer. There's actual hookups in there. So you kind of see that in that. Then you got your big closet over here. There's uh oh, I was wrong. This this dinette doesn't have four chairs. It's got these two here that are upside down in the bed. Yeah. But you've got this bench oh, over here. Okay. Which there's actually storage inside that bench. Oh, that's nice. So this one comes with the bench instead of the other two chairs. Oh, okay. Now you've got two little nightstands on the side of the but bed there. Nice. Both sides have USB. I don't see 110. It might be, well, I see a 110 on the wall over here. There might be a 110 down here somewhere too. I don't see one. So if you're someone with a CPAP, you would want this side of the bed because there is a 110 to hook that up. There is not over there. That's odd. I would have expected to see one over there as well. I'm kind of curious though. So back in the corner here in the closet, yeah. there is a 110 outlet. Oh, I see. So you could run behind the doors there, oh, open I the see. doors up yeah. and plug another one in over there if well, you needed to. Well, that would make sense. You've got two reading lights up here, more blackout shades. Um, nice headboard. So great unit overall. Let's uh, let's come back on out here. I'm gonna pop this shade up while I'm here. Simply because if somebody moves this, I don't want all those shades beating around. So let's take a seat here and let's get our final thoughts on this and what we think of it. I also didn't do road mode, guys. Um, I don't have enough power to do it, but I can tell you that if you're coming in, you can, of course, uh, get up to the bathroom easily. You can get into the bedroom if you needed to. They don't recommend that you use a bed on some of these slides. I don't know if this is one of them. Um, when this slide over here comes in, I believe you'll be able to open up the refrigerator let me see if I got enough juice to pull that slide in. I don't, I probably don't, but we'll just take a look here. Yep, I'm out of power. <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to charge my, yep, that's beeping at me. It says, you don't have no juice. So when you get that pulled in though, I, I do believe you'll have access to the refrigerator, not to the freezer, but you will on the refrigerator side. So what's your what's your biggest likes and dislikes? I love that light up lights on. Yeah, the, I like the, the solid countertop. surface yes. countertop that lights up. I like the pantry too. Yeah, I like a pantry. Um, I love that new sink design. That, yes. And a lot of manufacturers are starting to use that. Um, for us personally, I don't like the floor plan because we have to sleep in separate bedrooms. It's just the way we are. Um, so there, if I wanted to sleep in separate places, I'd have to pull the couch out and I don't want to sleep on a height of bed all the time because I, I, I know who would get the bedroom. Um, <laughs> so I'd have to sleep there. So the floor plan is not for us. I'm sure it's for many people. It's a great couple's camper. Um, I love that there's no carpet anywhere. And this is a carpetless slide yeah. and floor flush slide. Yeah. So it's right even. This slide is not floor flushed. It has got the little toe kicker on it. So that would be another one of my dislikes because when you're coming up to the stove and such, you could probably hit your toes on that. So that's another one of my dislikes. Um, full body paint. I love and dislike. I love the look of it. Yeah, I but love the color of it. It's really pretty. It all the time. But yeah, the dark you color, would... I'd be cleaning it a lot. Oh my. But, you know, since I work where I work, and I think everybody on the channel already knows I work for ATC RV Center, we have what's called a protection plan. And you can actually have this like coated, like with a ceramic coating. Yeah. And 
you just simply just spray it a little bit and, and the dirt will just wash off. So it's very easy to keep clean when you put that, that coating on it. So that's a that's a huge plus. Yes. So I would definitely have that done. I would do that on any new new coach that I bought, just simply just for that yep. peace of mind that it's easier to keep clean. Yeah. I mean, they even apply it to like the furniture because oh, yeah. this looks leather, but it's not leather. No. This is like a leatherette. It's it's a a fabric. Yeah. That looks and feels like leather. And over time, it'll get worn. Yeah. Over time, it'll wear. It'll peel. Guess what? If you do that appearance package, yeah. It's covered under that. Yep. You know, they cover that, they warranty it for whatever really years. Makes sense. For whatever years you buy that package for. So really, all in all, I really like this unit. So guys, if you if you like this, I'll put my number below here. Uh, my work number, my my cell phone number, 319-775-0312. Give me a give me a call if you're interested in this. Uh, email address, I'll put that on here, R-K-O-L-O-S-I-K at atcrvcenter.com. Also, I'll put our address up here and come see us in person. I don't know the pricing on this on the top of my head, but I'll insert that right now. So I'll shoot up right now, somewhere on their screen here is gonna be MSRP. I believe that's like 107,000 or something like that. I'd have to look, I don't have the numbers on me. Um, sale price. I'm not positive on what that is, but I'll stick that up on here right now as well. So you'll be able to see what the sell price is on it. This is an awesome unit. I mean, it's not going to hang around here very long, especially with this full body paint. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a very pretty unit. It is. So guys, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way in, thank you. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. It really helps us. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell so you can get notified of the next one that we got coming out. These walkthrough videos, we call it the, the series Walkthrough Wednesdays. That comes out every Wednesday at 10 a.m. I do have a whole bunch of the pipeline, but this is going to go up this coming Wednesday. We're out here on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning shooting this, but this is going to come out immediately and I'm going to bump all the other ones back because I just love this unit so much. I want, I, really I want people to see it. I mean, I've got videos recorded already going through December into December, so I didn't want this to come out in December because it'll probably be gone by then. But I wanted it to come out right away so you guys could see this. And someone, someone's gonna get a really beautiful unit. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I mean, just the colors are really pretty. Yes, it is. You know, even here in the kitchen and such. You know, I keep scratching this video out, but even here in the kitchen, look. You know, you've got this light tones. It's very pretty. Then on, on all the trim, you've got the, the lighter wood tone. Yeah. I mean, it just all, you know, to see it, you got to see it in person to, to really get it. I don't know if the camera is going to get this as well as what I hope it would be, especially since I'm running out of power and all the lights are all shutting off. So my little power pack obviously isn't lasting long enough. But this is just a sharp, sharp unit. So like I said, you know, give me a call. We'll see if we can get you get this one into your driveway. And uh, just like always, have a great weekend and happy camping.